probably got two, three hundred fish at least stuck below the weir here, across the river, team here in the middle of Ludlow. We've had to take some quite dramatic action and break a hole through the top of the weir. You can see it, the water just coming through now. What this will do is it will create effectively a temporary fish passage. The fish will be able to swim up. You can see the pool in front here. They'll be able to swim into this pool. It's a much easier path, as you can see, up over through the weir. Getting over the top of the wheel would be no real problem to them in normal flows, but it's just this year because it's so low, you can see, you know, they've almost got a five, six foot jump, which is too much for them. They're on their way to the spawning grounds, which is uh, further upstream. Got another probably 10, 15 miles at least to go, if, if not more. If they get stuck here, they, they will try and spawn, but the, the, the habitat just really isn't good enough, so they're likely to be unsuccessful. So we really need to get them through here and up to their spawning ground. It is quite sad to see them trying to get up, but the jump is just too big for them, but they are some magnificent fish here. Nice to see the salmon here. This is the only weir out of this next three or four either side that hasn't got a pass on it. So this really does block their attempts to get upstream. So they really do need help to get up to the spawning grounds. I've probably been watching them for, again, on for 50 years. Every year, you know, once they start running, you really must come down and watch it because it's quite spectacular. The last few years, the water's been lower and lower. So it's just been so difficult for them. You don't really want to see them become extinct. And over the last few years, the numbers have decreased incredibly. They just need every bit of help they can to get up to the spawning ground. So hopefully they'll be successful and raise the numbers for future years. The females are full of eggs. The males are large and, uh, you know, very tired. They, would, they wouldn't make for good eating anyway.